What is going on YouTube? Dad with a bike and we are commuting to work today and it looks like it may rain on us which would suck because I forgot my rain gear <laughs> but anyway I think today what we're gonna actually talk about on the way into work is I'm gonna give a long-term review of my Atlas Berserker so stick around it has goods and bads and I'll uh, fill you all in on what all that is alrighty y'all thanks for sticking around and if you have just stumbled across this channel do me a favor hit that subscribe help me grow this channel and if you like this video hit the like button and uh, if you want to see more like this go ahead and click that notify and I will let you know the next time I upload so if you are a subscriber of the channel you may have already seen one of my videos actually two videos I did a video of my Atlas 2.0 when I first got it and was you know was like yeah this is awesome and then about three weeks later I said uh, this is horrible and the Root Rock folks came across it and they said hey we're about to release this new awesome 3.0 that's going to answer and solve all your problems give us another chance and I said sure so I did order the 3.0 but I also know that some of my issues were quality issues that they were happen that that was happening and I kind of wanted to chalk that up to code because a lot of crap was going crazy back when they were trying to get everybody's helmets shipped to them uh, during the COVID time frame so I said you know what I'm gonna give them another opportunity uh, I'm a veteran so I get a veteran discount with Rue Rock so if you are a veteran you do get a veteran discount uh, it's a pretty good discount anyway so I went ahead and got the Berserker camo version and um, you know when I first put it on I was like okay so it's light it feels like uh, just like the uh, the 2.0 did so anyway it's light and when you first put it on it feels great so I did my initial review of the Berserker oh maybe a month and a half ago maybe two months ago I don't remember when but later on I'll link these videos I'll link my what I thought about my first experience with the Atlas 2.0 uh, what I thought after having it for a couple weeks I'll link the one that I did for my uh, Berserker and then I'll go ahead and uh, of course we've got this one okay so my first impressions of the helmet itself were pretty darn solid you know I did the review on it like I said I'll link that later it's light very comfortable um, I mean it's in the lightest helmets I've ever owned um, it comes with goggles as you can see I've got a set of goggles that are on order that are like an iridescent kind of blue color but I normally don't wear the goggles and uh, we'll go into that a bit because we'll talk about the goggles and why I don't really like them and why I'm wearing them today now the fit and finish of the helmet is pretty darn solid I mean you you, you can't go wrong with how Rue Rock helmets look I mean from a looks perspective they are amazing helmets they're sleek uh, they fit you or they fit the style whether you are a cruiser or riding a sport bike adventure doesn't matter the helmet is designed in such a way that it fits everybody you know the downside with some of the other sport bike helmets is they only suit you if you're in a tucked position so with you're like me and I'm sitting upright they don't suit you very well not true with Rue Rock and I know that that's going to be true across the board with you know whether you've got the two the berserker the three it doesn't matter they're going to, you know they, they're going to fit any of that style of riding uh, just because of the way the helmet is is shaped on the outside so i wear a medium uh typically i've got like a 57 centimeter head whatever the hell that is and i'm wearing a medium so they fit true to form a lot of people will complain initially they're like oh my god i got a medium i should have got one size up it's a little tight don't do that um wear it uh, because most helmets when you get them are a little tight and uh, you want them that way there it's it's the pads on the inside are going to compress 
it will be comfortable. The uh, way you know your the helmet is too small for you is if you get the pressure headaches, you know, like on the side of your head or on your uh, uh, forehead. But let me get through some of this uh, wonky traffic here. But you know, not the case with Rue Rock. Like I said, you know, I wear a medium. It's uh, true to size, so works for me. Now the Atlas series, of course, they all come with uh, with visors, and they come with uh, you know tinted visors out of the box with uh, a clear visor as well. But not the uh, Berserker. So the Berserker, they send you just clear goggles, which is you know a bummer. I wish they would have packaged a set of you know dark tint goggles with it. But it's actually, it's not necessarily the goggles. The, uh, the goggles themselves, if you can see in the, uh, my little camera here, it's really just what's on here. It's like, you know, ski helmet goggles. The cool thing about Rue Rock is these lens are replaceable. They just pop in and out with uh, these little magnetic, uh, I don't know, things they have on the helmet. And then on the side, these just pop and then the lens literally just dumps right out. Super easy to change lenses. But I still wish they would have sent it with a uh, tinted lens. But I digress. 99% of the time when I wear this helmet, I do not have goggles on. I've just got my sunglasses on. And uh, the primary reason for that is I kind of like the open, you know, the open air feel on my face. But moreover, when you have these goggles on, it destroys your peripheral vision. One of the most awesome things about an Atlas helmet, or a Rurok helmet rather, is the field of view. I mean, you can see so much in the uh, eye opening of these helmets, it's insane. But when you throw these goggles on, that's no longer true. I, it, you know, if you've ever went skiing, um, or snowboarding, whatever your uh, winter sport of choice is, that field of view issue that you've got when you go skiing or snowboarding, same thing. It's like I'm wearing a ski or snowboard helmet. So it is a little bit of a bummer because it does screw with my field of view, and I don't like that because I have to when I'm changing. Mm, woo, when I'm changing lanes, I have to like extra look uh, over my shoulder to make sure nobody's there. So that's one downside of, of these, um, is the goggles just screws with the uh, field of view. However, take the goggles off, and it is a, an amazing helmet. I get so many compliments on this helmet. I am, uh, I am surprised. I recall a couple weeks ago I wore this to a, uh, one of my motorcycle club events. I pulled off, uh, I pulled up, pulled off the helmet, and uh, all the guys were like, what the hell helmet is that? And I was like, oh, it's Rurar. I'm like, dude, that's awesome. Can you send me the link? So it gets the, uh, it gets the looks, and it definitely starts a conversation. So all in all, you know, the helmet's good. You know, if you can handle doing without the goggles, do without the goggles. You know, I think with a veteran's discount, you're going to pay, I don't know, 350 or something like that. I don't, I don't really remember. Um, but you do get some knocked off. Now, they're pricey helmets. Are they worth it? You know, now that I've had this one and I don't have the quality issues that I had with my 2.0, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, because you are not gonna get another helmet that's carbon, that's this light, uh, for that price. Now the reason I'm wearing my goggles right now is because I'm testing some wind noise issues out. So with my Moodle vlog set up that I got now, I did a video on that recently. 
Um, you know, I get a crap ton of wind noise in this helmet when I have the goggles off. So I was like, you know, what? I'm going to do a video today. And in that video today, we'll talk about the Berserker. And I am going to try and see if the noise gets cut down because I'm wearing goggles. So we'll see when I actually go through post-processing whether or not I solve that issue. But wind noise in general in an Atlas helmet, it is a lot. There's a lot of wind ripping around in this helmet. They're light. They've got a lot of air openings, but you can buy block-offs for them. Uh, and no, they don't have vent closures. The only vent closure that they have is the one on the front. And you reach it from inside the helmet. And I think that's true across all of their helmets, whether it's the Berserker, the 2, or the 3. So, wind noise is probably the only negative. But then again, when I'm actually out riding, riding for like long distances or I'm out riding for a long time I'm gonna have uh, earplugs in anyway only because that's just it's more comfortable when you have earplugs and of course when you do wear earplugs it solves that whole wind noise issue and then it's not a thing I don't know what it's going to be like riding this thing in the winter. I suspect it's going to be a little brisk. Um, I had this a couple of weeks ago when it, the temperatures dropped here into the 40s and it was fine. So I'm hoping that uh, that'll stay true, you know, in colder temperatures. I don't know. But anyway, if I'm going to give this a, a grade, I'm going to give the helmet itself an A, but I'm going to give these uh, goggles like a C. Uh, so maybe if you're like me and you like the way the Berserker looks or whatever, uh, you know, buy it, but just don't wear the uh, goggles. The other thing, and it's actually in that one video that I'll link at the end here on my first experience with the uh, Berserker. It comes with a, uh, a sun visor, a peak, but I took it off. And in the process of taking it off and kind of playing with it, I'm like, do I want the peak? Do I not want the peak? There's a little bolt that actually broke because it's a plastic bolt. And I mentioned it in that video, and I'm going to mention it in this one. Come on, Ru Rock. Why on earth would you make that bolt plastic? Anyway, I'm about to pull into work. That is the end of my review, long-term review of this uh, Rue Rock Berserker helmet. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. When I don't have the goggles, I like it okay. When I have the goggles, so, you know, that's my bit of opinion for you. At any rate, hope y'all like this. Hope it was helpful. Uh, y'all be good to one another. Be safe out there. There's a lot of lunatics out on the road these days. And most of all, peace.